Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents Why are people more likely to get sick when it is cold? Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal Allergy and Clinical Immunology, published in February 2023. Research conducted by Di Huang, Mai Taha, Benjamin Blyer, Mansour Amiji, and others from the Department of Otolaryngology at Harvard Medical School and the Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences at Northeastern University. See the full list of authors in the accompanying PDF. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. Did you know that your nose protects you from germs? The nose makes small sacs, like tiny pouches of liquid, called extracellular vesicles. Our research looked into how the nose uses these sacs to fight viruses. We also wanted to know if cold weather affects how well the nose fights viruses. We found that cells in the nose make extracellular vesicles when they detect a virus. We learned that the extracellular vesicles contain particles that can kill viruses, but there are fewer extracellular vesicles when it's colder. They also do not contain as many particles that can kill the virus. That means that we are more likely to get sick when it is chilly outside. Introduction. Germs can enter the body through the nose, but the nose fights back. In an earlier study, we learned that cells in the front of the nose detect bacteria. They then release billions of tiny sacs called extracellular vesicles. The extracellular vesicles contain fluid and special substances to fight the bacteria. They then surround and attack the bacteria before it can infect the cells. In this study, we wanted to figure out if the nose also fights viruses. A virus causes an infection by entering cells. Once inside, it uses parts of the cell to make many copies of itself. When there are too many copies, it can damage or kill the cells. We hypothesize that nasal cells release extracellular vesicles when there is a virus. We thought that they carry a special particle called microRNA. MicroRNA can destroy the virus. We know that the extracellular vesicles have special spots on the outside. We call these spots surface receptors. These spots attach to the virus particles. That stops them from entering cells. We also hypothesize that this response to viruses does not work as well when the weather is cold. Here is an image of an extracellular vesicle with surface receptors and microRNA. The vesicle itself is the blue bubble in the middle of the image. It contains the microRNA, which can be seen as darker blue squiggly lines. The surface receptors are different shapes jutting out from the surface of the vesicle in green, magenta, and yellow. Methods Viral response We took nasal tissue samples from healthy volunteers. We used this tissue to grow nasal cells in the laboratory. We exposed the samples to three different common respiratory viruses. These included the cold virus. We also used a particle that acts like a virus. Then, we analyzed how the cells responded to each virus. We looked at the number of extracellular vesicles they produced. We also looked at their surface receptors and the particles they carried. Effects of temperature. We placed the volunteers in a room that was about 4.4 degrees Celsius, or 39.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we measured the temperature inside of their noses. Next, we took nasal tissue samples and lowered their temperature. We matched the temperature to the temperature of the volunteers' noses when it was cold. We exposed the colder nasal cells to the three respiratory viruses. Then we analyzed how the nasal cells responded to each virus. Results. Viral response. We found that nasal cells detected the viruses. This caused them to produce extracellular vesicles. 
we found that the extracellular vesicles carried microRNA. We also noticed that they had surface receptors. There were fewer virus particles in the nasal cells. Effects of temperature. When we lowered the room temperature from 23 degrees Celsius to 4.4 degrees Celsius, the volunteer's nose temperature went down too. The nose temperature decreased by about 5 degrees Celsius. There were fewer extracellular vesicles when the nasal cells were colder. These extracellular vesicles did not contain as much microRNA. They also did not have as many surface receptors. Here in figure one, you can see extracellular vesicles produced in the nose at 37 degrees Celsius on the left and 32 degrees Celsius on the right. In both images, you can see the nasal cells at the bottom of the image. Virus particles can be seen as small dots floating above the nasal cells. The extracellular vesicles are larger light blue bubbles, some of which have viral particles attached to their receptors. Looking at the figure, how does the number of virus particles reaching the nasal cells change when it is colder? Discussion. Nasal cells fight viruses using extracellular vesicles. They distract the virus and stop it from reaching the cells. That's because the virus attaches to the extracellular vesicles. Then, the microRNA inside kills the virus. That means the virus particles don't reach the cells. They are unable to start an infection. Colder weather makes it harder for the nose to fight viruses. This is because the temperature inside the nose goes down. When it is colder, there are fewer extracellular vesicles. What they look like also changes. They have fewer surface receptors. They also have fewer microRNA particles. This means that more virus particles reach the nasal cells. So, we now have a reason why people are more likely to catch colds in colder weather. Conclusion Our study shows that the nose helps stop viral infections. It also proves that people are more likely to get sick when it is colder. That means you need to be extra careful during the colder parts of the year. How? Wash your hands with soap and water. Clean common surfaces, such as in the kitchen or bathroom. Consider wearing a mask when you are sick or if you will come into contact with someone else who is sick. Or stay home when you aren't feeling well. Also, practice good health habits. For example, eat healthy food and exercise. Healthy habits keep your body at its best to fight viruses. Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.